Hi, today I want to show you how to animate an image using a video. I have done similar things uh, about six months ago, and but that one was only for the facial expression. Basically, it's only animating the head. Uh, it's called First Order Model. I will put a link in the description and you can have a look. But this time I'm going to show you how to animate the whole body. Here is my demonstration. So basically you need two images, one is showing the front and the other one is showing the back. There are things I want to point out because I, I learned the hard way. At the beginning I have tried with the natural light. Uh, I took the image in the balcony, there's a light come from one side and the other side. So you can see from the uh, left hand side here, it's darker than the right hand side. And the result will look something like this. This is a bright light and if it turn body turn over here, then it become very dark. So that's not a good idea to have uh, one side darker than the other. And also you can see the arm uh, one side darker than the other when you turn the back over and the left and right are swapped and the algorithm will be confused. The best way is you have to get everything evenly lit. If you don't have a studio lighting, uh, which I don't have, uh, I simply use the flashlight. Then you can see it, it's much better. But this one has been color corrected already. I'm using a compact camera and every time you use flashlight, the contrast uh, is very low. If the contrast is low, then the algorithm uh, can't really detect the edge of the face, then it will cut off some things. The second thing I want to mention here is the bottom here. Don't put the feet too close to the edge of the image. The feet could be chopped off. I will show this to you later. You can see I added extra frame here. One more thing is my costume here is not the real one. I already slimmed down the, my sleeve and the pants. The original image looks like this. And because the pants are too wide and the sleeves are too wide and there are so many arrows at, in the result. So I have to uh, trim it down. You can see this is the version I'm having. And one more thing is, make sure you get the image as a square image. Uh, I think the other format will work as well, but the best result is get a square image and export it in the resolution of 512 times 512. There's also a problem with the error message. When I was trying this, uh, I didn't uh, scale down my image and I just export as it is. And when I start adding the uh, frame here, the image is getting too large. I got some error message. I have no idea what that is. So to avoid such situation, it's good to uh, scale down the image to 512 resolution. Then the next thing you need is a video. Uh, I'm going to use the video for my dance class here. I need to crop out some uh, dancer in the background. Uh, I'm using the website here, the crop video. Upload the video. Click on upload here. Okay, when it's done, you can see the video in your browser. Uh, normally, I have to cut it first. Some of the image is unusable, so you can go to here, cut video. Play the video. So go to the position you want to and pause it. Use current position and go to somewhere at the end or somewhere just for demonstration. Then you can click the end position, then cut the video. Okay, this one is the cut version. You have to crop the video as well. I think it works with any aspect ratio, but I prefer to use square. I try to avoid any problem. So you just select here 
and click on crop video at the end you just click on the save here then you will download the result of the video I also prepared a background image uh, to avoid any trouble I also use it as a 512 times 512 resolution and the square image okay now all the preparation work is done just go to the Google Collab uh, page impersonator plus plus I will put the link in the description and just run through the cells here start with this one and run it anyway uh, this is the demo I can click it away and uh, the next one install yes then next one is clone the github repo and click on setup this will take a little bit longer in the meantime we can click on the files here you should be able to see i per core here then we can start uploading our material go to the assets samples references then th this place we will upload our video I already got the dance video here already cropped uh, and cut check and drop to preferences it's just a warning reminder and the next one are the images sources because we have two images I need to a folder to put the images in there let's create a folder under sources now I grab my images this is my front and the back drag these two images to my Big Boss 97 folder and my background image I just put it in this folder balcony background and put it under sources So it's done. Now we are going to start download all checkpoints here. Okay, downloaded. Now we are going to skip few things. Download examples, we don't need that. But this one we have to run it. run scripts the next one is run the trump case we don't need that we don't want to run this let's click this away and we don't want to see him again he's already gone click this away this is a xing case xing one case we don't need this uh, we don't want to see this but this one often six case now we are going to use this as you can see here this one is the source where the photos should be the character and now we we got the folder big boss 97 and here is the name this will be used for the folder and the file names and here is the background image we put it under sources and the last one is the most important one the driving video so crop and I put the name here Yes. then I can start the cell here usually I get an arrow because of typo somewhere in the path or something like that you, most of the time I got typo arrow uh, see how it goes here but I have to see the message first if we start doing something that's not too bad okay it took about five minutes uh, if you see this step 3 running imitator done then it's finished uh, I didn't uh, run the, the next cell 
I simply go to the results here. Primitives, big boss synthesis, imitation, and here you can see there's a MP4 file. Now download it. Let's have a look. Interestingly, it does a re really good job, so it doesn't pick up other uh, person in the background, so it wasn't confused with the uh, motion. One more thing I want to show you is this file. If you go to Processed, and you can see this uh, Visual MP4. Download this one. Uh, for some reason, I can't run it. It just doesn't come up. But here I can see what the system has done. So we detect my person here and everything looks uh, all right. I just want to show you if the image doesn't fit there, then it would look like this. That's what I was talking about in the beginning. If the feet are too close to the edge of the image, then they are chopped off. And you can see here, basically there are no bones created, then I don't think it will be animated properly. You can see here, there are the bones here, and here they are missing. If you are not happy with the result, you can fix the images or the video and upload them, then rerun it again. I was surprised that sometimes it didn't change anything, so it didn't refresh. The main thing is if you change everything, you have to delete the result directory. Unfortunately, uh, Google Collab doesn't allow you to delete the directory if it's not empty, so you can't delete it. The only way is uh, you can re rename the result directory and make sure to, that's the way you uh, trigger the system to create a new one. If you just change the source images, so basically the uh, photos, then you have to delete here, this one under the model, and this one big boss, so basically the name of the photos. And if you change the reference video, you have to delete this. Alternatively, you can change here the model ID and the name here, or the name here. If you change the reference video, then it should create a new directory instead. Okay, it's done again. Now you can see uh, we were using the model ID here, equal 3, and a new directory is created, so we can make sure it's using the new data. And here we got big boss underscore one and here is a new folder in the result folder. This is our new file name download. I've changed the background to green. Somehow there's a lot of cloud here. Uh, to get a proper result you need to experiment a little bit around. Okay, uh, I think that's all about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.